Hi, and welcome to another one of my vintage i5 videos. In this one, we're going to be changing the lengths in this Marantz 2050 tuner, AMFM tuner, which was a, come out in about 1979 and retailed for approximately £100, and that then would have been about 200 to 225 US dollars, going on the exchange rate then. Um, with this one, I'm going to put LED, blue LED lights. I've got another Marantz tuner, which I'll bring down and do a separate video, a very short one, to compare the LED lights we're replacing just with the normal lights, uh, just to give you uh, an idea of what they both look like. This is pretty much how I received the tuner, apart from we did have a couple of marks on the top, which you'll see on the stills that I will be showing you. They're, they go full screen this time. It, I think it's, it's easier for me to do. Uh, saves a lot of time. Anyway, this is, um, as I've got it, what I'll do is I'll turn it on now, just to show you what it looks like now. There you go. Uh, what I want to do, like I say, sling some pictures up, and show you how I've got it to this uh, to this state as it is now. Uh, first of all, um, yeah, like I say, I've got it with no lights working at all. Right, first thing to do is undo the top screws here. These these top screws come undone. Uh, then the side screws. These side screws come undone. And here you see a picture of it inside. It was nice and clean inside. No need for me to clean it at all. It, um, it looked like it hadn't even been used. It looked absolutely brand new inside. So that was nice. Um, now to take the uh, front, this front panel off here, uh, you'll need a small X spanner uh, to get rid of this knob here. This is in the way, this is the only knob in the way, so there's a little spanner there, hopefully showing you now. Going in now and we'll just undo that and that knob comes undone. Then we have to undo these two bottom screws here, holding the front face panel on. And now the two, the, the uh, top screws holding the uh, rest of the face panel on and that's it. it come completely away, so here you have it all undone. And this is where the uh, four bulbs that we're going to need replacing are. So uh, what we have to do now is uh, undo these screws here, uh, the side of the bulbs. It's just the top one just needs loosening. You don't have to completely take it out, but the bottom one needs to be completely taken out because this metal bracket, this little housing would come undone. It's like a, whatever it is, um, it's like a reflector or whatever. That come undone completely. Um, so that's the left side and the same for the right side. So they're both undone now. Uh, this is the tool I'm to, I use just to prise the bulbs out. I mean, you can use your fingers, fingertips and that, but I just find this a bit more easier. So I, I use this little toy, it seems to ping them out all right, so they come out all right with that. So here's the bulbs taken out, as you can see. Uh, now the face panel had some marks in it, um, as you can see here. And um, I decided I'm going to try and clean it up a bit. So uh, enter the plastic front as well, like the plastic front here shown, is some marks. So I use this to remove it. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but you'll see it on the screen now. And this is how much I applied with a cloth. And I'll just give it a really good rub, quite a strong rub, quite a, like a forceful rub, obviously on the glass being, or plastic I think it is. Be a bit more careful, don't want to crack it or push it completely out. So like a reasonable force. And um, they're cleaned up pretty well as it happens. Um, still some very slight marks in the front, but the plastic front, the marks there completely went, so that, that was great. Um, Right, so um, I'll put the bulbs fitted as shown here. Um, at this stage, I put them in like this first of all, as you can see, facing sidewards. But when I, when I put it all back together and turned it on, it was just far too bright. It was overpowering. So um, I turned them bulbs round so the, um, the LEDs are actually facing me, both facing me straight on, then put it all back together. It's more, more realistic and not so overpowering. As you can see, there's some dirt underneath the uh, plastic here, uh, in between the plastic and the... Uh, the metal backing um, so I thought well, while I've got it apart I'll decide to uh, clean give that a clean as well with dust get rid of that dirt so I took it out for a clean so to do that we have to unsolder these two wires here on the left side so they both come undone be careful though with the soldering iron you don't actually rub against the tuning gang like cold nylon cord or whatever they use um, you don't want to go across that because it's quite thin and just touching it with the iron will probably that that melt and that'll be gone so be very careful if you're going to do this yourself uh, then you have to undo this screw here that holds the, uh, the uh, light bulb fitting in. So you have to undo that to take it out. Just one end required. We've only got to do the one end, the left hand side here. So that's it taken out. Once it's taken out, you have to undo these three screws here and just one screw at the other end. And now that panel will just that plastic front cover just completely slide out. That'll come completely out. Give it a clean and I replaced it and pushed it back in and just resoldered them two wires back and reassembled and this is what we got this is the uh, this is the end result as you can see 
Um, it's not a bad receiver. It's, it's not. It's not the top of the range. It's a, a mid-range kind of receiver. If um, I just bring this up here, um, you'll see that that's where it fits in in their range in 1979 or thereabouts. So it was a mid-range receiver. Um, it's not bad. It's not. It's not brilliant, but it ain't bad. So and um, on eBay now, I think you're looking at probably about um, 50 or 60 pound. I would have thought you'll get one for. And um, if they've got the bulbs fitted all well and good, and you've got some new bulbs for 50 or well, less than 50 or 60 pound with bulbs fitted, is is quite a good buy. I think you know what I mean. It looks quite smart, and um, it goes quite well with uh, with my stuff. So anyway, in the next video, which is going to come up straight after this probably. I'm going to do, I'm just going to compare this as this is now with the blue LEDs with just a normal receiver with, uh, well, with another receiver uh, with the normal bulbs in just to give you a contrast of uh, what they look like and which one you prefer. Do you prefer the blue or do you prefer the normal? Well, anyway, we'll sort that out in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful for a few people and uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks very much.